Hi everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve the perfect foundation base. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite tips and tricks to make your foundation look amazing. And yeah, let's dive into the video. Okay, we're gonna start off with some primer. So we're just using the Face Studio Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. This stuff is really good for fine lines and large open pores which I do have unfortunately, so I'm just really packing it in there and then I'm just doing some colour correction. I'm using the Master Camo um, Apricot Colour Correcting Pen just to colour correct my 5 o'clock shadow and just to set that in place so it doesn't move and mix in with my foundation, I'm just using some Master Fix Setting Plus Perfecting Loose Powder. Right, now we're going to move on to foundation application and we're going to be using one of my all-time favourite foundations. It's the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. So I've got three shades to try out here today. Um, I'm just going to swatch them on my cheeks just to see which one is the best colour match. I've got um, 310, 238 and 228. Um, just based on looking at the bottle, I think this one, which is 228, is the best one for me, but we'll see. We'll do a little swatch. Based on these swatches, I feel like the best colour match for me uh, would probably be this one. The reason I say that is, uh, even though this one looks like it's disappeared into my skin, is if you look at me this way, um, my neck has a lot of yellow and the rest of my body tends to throw a lot of yellow whereas my face is kind of like this olive neutral shade um, which is why I say this is perfect for my face but realistically if I wanted everything to match and flow nicely it would be that shade. I have played with this foundation many times and honestly it applies really really nicely on the skin regardless of what method you use, um, fingers, brush or sponge. Personally I like applying my foundations using a beauty sponge I just feel like it's really just presses the foundation into the skin. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Grab a little bit of this foundation on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to dab the foundation on the skin like so. I like to dot my foundation on the skin just like that. That way I can kind of spread it out evenly. Sometimes if you just apply a blob on your sponge, your sponge actually absorbs most of the product. Um, whereas if you put it on your skin and then you just bounce your beauty sponge, I'm just going to get an even amount of product on the skin. So as you guys can see, I'm just bouncing the sponge on my skin. I'm not dragging, I'm not doing any sort of like buffing motions. The reason being is I'm really just trying to press this foundation into the skin so that it will look as natural as possible and it's going to look as one with the skin. And I feel like when it comes to foundation, regardless of how good the coverage is, it's best to always build slowly because it's nothing worse than having too much product on the skin. So always just layer it up until you're happy with it um that way you also avoid looking quite cakey because cakey sometimes is just too much product on the skin itself all right now we're going to move on to concealer and my go-to at the minute is the instant age rewind concealer it's just so so good i love 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 this formula if i have a bad skin day this is my go-to concealer and it just makes my under eyes just really nice and smooth and just really nice and bright by the way the shade i'm using is light pale which is obviously a lot lighter than my skin but again this is something that I use to brighten my under eyes. I think I'm actually going to put this on my eyelids as well. I'm just going to use this as a base for my eyeshadow. Um, so I pretty much do a triangle um, that way it just really brightens the center panel of the under eye. Okay so grabbing the sponge again just going to bounce this on the skin and ta-da as you guys can see my under eye area and pretty much this part of the face is nice and bright but there is sort of like this harsh line of light um, concealer so what we're going to do is just going to grab the sponge again just the part we use to blend the foundation so we're not going to apply any more product we're just going to use what's left on the sponge and bounce on the edges of that concealer we're not going to go all the way in just on the edges that way it looks more um, seamless looks more blended as you guys can see here compared to that where it's almost like a line almost and then um, I'm just going to set that using um, the master fix baking brightening loose powder just so that it doesn't crease this powder is also really nice at illuminating the under eyes okay so the powder is on my skin I'm just going to let that sink into my skin and bake my under eyes um, the rest of my face I feel like has set by itself I don't really feel like I need any more powder um, I might apply a little bit of powder on my forehead a bit later um, but in terms of the cheeks I feel like they're fine I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some blush I've got the dream matte blush in flirty pink so this is what it looks like 
Now for cream cheek products, I like to use a synthetic type brush. So something like this is going to apply this product really nicely on the skin. So just like to load up my brush. I like to dab off the excess just in case it, it's a little bit too much and I end up with too much product on the skin. Just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Okay, and then I'm just gonna smile. And then lightly buff. I'm not pressing too hard on the skin, just kind of like barely touching the skin and letting the brush fibers just blend it into the skin. That way it looks more natural and you're also not removing any foundation. Now the reason why I chose a cream blush is because I'm going for a nice luminous look but not necessarily my whole face luminous. Alright guys, so I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and we're going to talk a little bit more. Hey go hey, so the rest of the makeup is on and that brings us to the end of the video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys found this video educational, information if you guys did don't forget to hit the like button if you guys haven't already and tell me down in the comment box down below if you guys found the tips and tricks useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already so you guys don't miss out on any of our videos that are coming up very very soon and last but not least don't forget to share this video with your friends and family again thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you guys in the next video bye